Most site planning projects require a lot of curb and gutter design, where profiles may not need to be shown or are not needed at all. Civil 3D 2017 enhances this workflow. In a typical AutoCAD Civil 3D workflow, existing polylines can be converted into the feature lines that will be used for the corridor. The channel, pond, and building can easily be added and converted into the corridor crown feature line style. Some basic grading on the center line of the site plan roadways can easily be performed by selecting the first line to set up the basic grading design, querying the existing ground surface for the start of the feature line, then set up the grading design between two known points using some of the quick tools. For the laneway, the same procedure can be performed. Simply set up start and end points based on the other two known feature lines and interplay the grades in between. Using Civil 3D's typical corridor creation system, assemblies such as typical road curving and daylighting can be added into the drawing. Then to create the corridor, instead of picking the alignments, the feature line is what will be picked. Civil 3D will now prompt us to name the feature line if it's not already named we can apply one of the assemblies to that feature line. Once the assembly has been applied to the feature line, the target surface for daylighting can be selected, providing the first baseline for the site plan assembly. For the second laneway, you can select the corridor properties and add a second baseline using the Lane 2 feature line. Now you can apply a region with the assembly that you'd like to see in this particular laneway. For the third baseline, you could apply a curb to crown type assembly, running the assembly along the curb line and target the center line of the laneway. All of this is being done with typical feature lines. Now, simply snap the start and end points to the existing corridor baseline on lane 1. Using the high low feature line tool, the high point can quickly be set using typical feature line editing. With the gutter line set for the cul de sac, the third baseline, using the feature line, can be added. When defined as a feature line baseline, all of the 3D grading is used. Add the region, in this case, the curb return fillets, and have it run along the curb and pointed to the crown as our target. Set the daylighting for the particular assembly and set the lane 1 feature line as the width and vertical design target. Within a few minutes, we've taken our plan view grading design using feature lines and converted it to a full-blown corridor model.